I need, literally need a whole U-Haul. So we need 18 of those. We can get eight in one car. And we need three boxes that we haven't seen and have any idea where they are. We're coming down to it. I mean, it's Friday. We have 24 hours to get everything in line. Uh, Ryan is heading to uh, Ikea to pick up some new tables. Um, so we are going to try to get all this stuff into storage, get the new tables in. Um, we have a bunch of pictures to hang up. We have, I don't know, probably sell five or 600 cards to price. We've got to get that out, get all the labels on the value boxes make sure all the signage on the hobby is ready, um, get everything back out in the showcases um, in 24 hours. So we have a lot to do. So the retail, um, just, just to get out of the way, I'm gonna start putting it back behind there. Since showcases are in, we're gonna have to start loading that up so we can put the Pokemon in the retail. We're gonna take the hobby and put it back here. I mean, there is, this used to be, I mean, it feels like half the size back here that we have now. But yeah, uh, just gotta start getting this stuff out of the way so we can start uh, making progress out here. first thing this morning. The focus this morning is we've got to get these tables done. Uh, we think we found some last night that'll be a, not quite as long as the ones we have now. Should be a little bit shorter, lower to the ground, uh, not the bar height. So I'm uh, going to go in there and try to grab some of those, make sure they have enough. Try to grab a bunch of chairs. I'm not sure we're going to be able to get all of it in this vehicle, um, but we'll see. So first and foremost, got to go in there, make sure they have it, and then try to load up what we can here in the, the car. Head back to the shop and start getting that stuff made. Sh cards and showcases. Just really uh, trying to get the shop all in one piece before the end of the day. I think this is the one he talked about getting. Yeah. I think everything else will be too big or too expensive. What about these? Like these a little better? We'll see. I'll take a picture just in case. But I don't mind those. Yeah, see, I like those if we can get those. Yeah. These. I need, literally need a whole U-Haul. One, two, three, four, double eight. I think you're getting eight. So we need 18 of those. We can get eight in one car. And we need three boxes that we haven't seen and have any idea where they are. I mean, there's no chance I'm getting any of this in the in a car. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna have, I mean, I will say there's a U-Haul place that's in, that's literally right by the shop. I would probably start that process with Eric, get, and I'd probably have Eric come up here and just bring a U-Haul. Yeah, so I think what we're gonna do is like, I'm gonna try to get all of it together, all of it ordered like get all 18 chairs paid for, get the three tables paid for, have it all ready to go loaded. I'll load what I can in my car and then I'll take off. By that point, Eric should probably be pretty close where he can stay, load the rest, and then take it into new haul It's just gonna take forever to build 18 of these chairs and three tables in, we open in less than 24 hours. We have to build three tables and 18 chairs on top of pricing more cards, redoing the entire shop, cleaning, getting the register set up, putting everything in place, get all the value boxes replaced, get price tags redone. I mean, the list of things we have to do is substantial and we have less than 24 hours, so what a challenge. Uh, Eric will be here in five minutes with a U-Haul. Brian and Eric can load it all up, head back. Just wanna get ahead on the building because it's going to be an all day affair with 18 plus chairs here. 
plus building three tables for the new spot. So gonna head back and get a head start on some of this. So the fun part, midday update. Um, I got a lot of stuff. Got all the tables, all the chairs in here. Chairs are being built. All that stuff's happening. Uh, but now this is the, the fun part. This is just the continuing two price so we can have stuff for the showcases. Uh, I have probably, I never got to the Pokemon, so there's probably about 130 Pokemon still left of, out of about 550. Uh, so it is spending Friday afternoon at the moment trying to get this done. Then it's moving into... Uh, additional pricing and just trying to get it all done as fast as possible while the rest of the shop is kind of put together. I think one of the cool things about the journey we've been on over the last couple years uh, is the ability to see card shops all across you know the country. Um, we've seen some of the best the hobby has to offer right. Um, you know I spent a little bit of time in Burbank Brian and I did and learned a lot you know learned a lot being out there about um, you know, their process for acquiring inventory, processing it, getting it out for sale, creating content around what they picked up and where it goes so people know where to go and look. Um, it's incredible. It is to be able to move that kind of volume at scale in such a quick, you know, fashion like that. It's, it's incredible. And then again, you know, RBI Crew 7 and Indie Card Exchange, like those guys have been mentors to me since I first opened this place four plus years ago. So seeing their shops and what they sell and how they sell and how they share their new pickups and where they go, it just, it, it, it sounds crazy, but there's, there's like a science to it. And when you see all of these card shops around the country and how they do things, just picking up a little bit from each shop has really allowed us to be like, okay, well, we got this from here, this from here, this from here, right? Some of the best card shops in the entire sports card industry. And local customers have said, hey, new singles, we want this, right? So we're kind of taking the feedback we've gotten locally and some of the knowledge we've learned in all of the time traveling the country, seeing those shops. And it's, uh, it's something we're trying to implement here. We are pretty good on pricing. I've got all the graded cards priced. I've priced 540 Pokemon for the 80th time. And I have gotten done all of these. These are all piled out or priced individually. So I've just got a sticker, all of these. Then we have another box of graded and I have a five row box. We actually made a video on, it was that big Ohio State deal. So I've got all of that to price, insert, sticker, all I gotta do is sticker this and I'll be done. So that's really, that and that graded box should be it. And then we can finally, I think at this point I can start finally loading the showcases because this is the better stuff, the graded stuff. Like that's a good start to the showcase. Then I can kind of see what's left and what else we still need to price and get out. So the showcases are gonna be a lot of what we had originally. Not the same cards, we, we have all fresh new inventory for the start, but a lot of it's gonna be a lot of the local teams. We still sell those, it's a big part of our business. People still want Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, JT Barrett, Braxton Miller, we know that. But it's also continuing to put out the players that are popular, the players that we see at shows, at other card shops. Like, we travel all over the country going to shows and card shops. We see what people are asking for, we, we, we do it every day, it's, it's who we are. Uh, so continuing to put out popular players and the things customers want, that's the goal, right? It's it's not to have more showcases to put out only Buckeyes, Bengals, Browns, Steelers, Michigans, Blue Jackets, Reds, whatever. Uh, it's, it's meant to continue to have that kind of stuff. We want that. It's a part of our business. Uh, but how can we continue to offer things that we didn't have space for before? Showcases for Pokemon Slabs, Vintage, 
right? UFC, wrestling, F1, soccer, things we didn't have showcase space for before. We, we've sold hockey before. We're 15 minutes away from Nationwide where the Blue Jackets play. We never had showcase space for it. What if we could do that? But not only Blue Jackets, what about McDavid, Gretzky? So right, how can we continue to develop that now that we have space for five times as many cards? All right, guys, that is a wrap. Uh, I stayed late to get a lot of it done, and truthfully, we did get most of it done. I uh, got some stuff to do in the morning, some you know cosmetic type stuff, bathrooms, cleaning the floors, uh, getting some price, uh, some signage redone, uh, printing some more stickers there. But honestly, looks really, really good. We're feeling it right now. It's 1.36 1 a.m. local time, so. Uh, exhausted, got up this morning at 8 a.m. to price cards, so 16 hours in a row. But hopefully tomorrow it'll all pay off. Um, excited, excited to do this little grand reopening, have some extended hours, have a way bigger variety of singles, uh, have just the shop looks so much cleaner. The new signage there, the new signage on the single boxes, the tables look way nicer, way more seating. Um, just yeah, trying to make a Trying to build the coolest card shop in America one day at a time. So we're going to see how tomorrow turns out. Uh, but first, we sleep. So going home to get some sleep. We'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow. Peace, guys.